So here's my uh, flow of thinking to divide 13 elevenths divided by 2 ninths. So the way we just uh, work this through in the module to kind of step it out line by line would be to say this. Instead of starting with 13 elevenths, let's just do 1. And instead of dividing by 2 ninths, let's just divide by 1 ninth. Now at this stage, I'm not saying that these are equivalent. This is just my first line of thinking to boil it down to a simpler problem first. How many one-ninths does it take to make one? Well, nine. One nine, two nine, three nine, four nine, five nine, six nine, seven eight nine, nine nine. It takes nine one-ninths to make one. That's what a one-ninth is. A one-ninth is what you get when you take a whole and cut it up into nine equal parts. So it takes nine one-ninths to make one. That's my first line of thinking. And then second, and it doesn't have to go in this order, by the way. You may have thought about things in different orders. That's all just fine. But to kind of follow the flow the way we did it in the modules would be to do this. Well, if 1 divided by 1 ninth is 9, what would 1 divided by 2 ninths be? And the way we thought about this was this. 2 ninths is twice as big as 1 ninth. Because what is 2 ninths? It's two copies of 1 ninth. It's two one-ninths, it's two-ninths, and so it's twice as big. And so if the size of that scoop, if you go back to my flower example, if the size of the piece is twice as big, you're only going to need half as many of them to make one. So I would say I'm going to need half as many as I needed with one-ninth. So I'm comparing as I go. If it took nine one-ninths to make one, it's going to take half as many two-ninths to make one. All right. Now, yeah, I know I can, I can multiply this and get nine halves, and that's fine too, but I like to kind of keep it in this stage as well. All right. Now, I don't have one. I have 13 elevenths. Let's see what that is. So 13 elevenths is 13 copies of one eleventh. All right. So maybe we could even start with just 13. So 13 divided by 2 ninths. How many 2 ninths does it take to make 13? Well, if, if I need 9 halves or 1 half times 9 copies of 2 ninths to make 1, I'm going to have to do that 13 times to get how many 2 ninths are in 13. So I'm going to need 13 times those guys. And yeah, I know I can simplify that and say 13 times 9 halves, and I will, but I'm just going to leave it unsimplified for now. All right, now that's 13. I need 13 elevenths. I need 13 copies of 1 eleventh. And so from here to here, what I'm thinking is, like, like up here I said I need 13 times as many. Now I need 1 eleventh as many. And so I need 1 eleventh as many. All right, so all in all here then, 13 elevenths divided by 2 ninths is, and if you look at the flow of thinking here, first I got the 9 by saying it took one, it took 9 copies of 1 ninth to make 1. Then I took half as many because 2 ninths is twice as big of a piece, so I need half as many. But then I needed 13 copies because I had 13 copies of 1 11th, and then I needed the 1 11th. So all in all, let's kind of simplify this. I've got 13 elevenths. Do you see the 13 elevenths? And then I've got a half times 9, which is 9 halves. Aha! There's the algorithm. 13 elevenths, there it is. Divide becomes multiply. 2 ninths becomes 9 halves of the reciprocal. So there's the algorithm. And then if you wanted to actually work this out, uh, 13 times 9 is uh, 117, and 11 times 2 is 22. So it all comes down to 117 20 seconds. Now, you guys, I am not arguing that every time I should, I can't remember my thinking here. So I had stage 3, I had stage 4, and then I had stage 5, which led to my final answer. We'll call that stage 6. I am not claiming that every time students divide fractions that they should they would have to go through all of this work. Eventually, as we've done all course long, we want to get to the algorithm and we saw the algorithm emerge right here. So eventually, we want students to recognize 
and employ the algorithm that says 13 elevenths times uh, divided by 2 ninths is the same as 13 elevenths times 9 halves, which is 117 20 seconds. I mean, this is where we want to get to, but we want to get there from sense making, from thinking, from reasoning, from repeated reasoning, from uh, structure, all the things, and make those viable arguments. So there it is.